What's up college football fans? Welcome to another QB Spotlight video. Again, this is the channel we talk all things quarterbacks. And today we're going to talk about Auburn starting quarterback TJ Finley, right? So I haven't seen anything from Coach Harson or, or Auburn officially on this, uh, but it's being reported by a lot of, you know, uh, different news sources and different news sites that TJ Finley has been named the starting quarterback at Auburn. Uh, I guess we'll wait and see what Harson says tomorrow when he comes out, but we'll go ahead and just assume that everyone reporting this is correct. So I want to talk just a few minutes and talk about what TJ Finley brings to the table, although I don't really want to do a film breakdown. We've done several film breakdowns of Finley and the quarterback battle uh, in the past, so I just want to talk about what this means for Auburn and what this could potentially mean for Finley and, and just the Auburn team moving forward. And there's two big takeaways for me uh, when, when, when I read this news and heard this news, and this is something I think people close to the program or keeping up with college football, people that have kept up with college football uh, have been hearing that Finley is the guy as of late, and, and Calzada is kind of not even running with the twos necessarily right now, um, which is a bit surprising. But at the beginning of this quarterback competition when Calzada transferred over, I was under the impression Calzada was going to be the guy. And more and more uh, that you heard things and more and more as practice went on, uh, you started to see that it was, you know, obviously TJ Finley's kind of job to lose, especially Calzada being hurt. But even then, he had time to come back and potentially take that role, which didn't happen. So I think that says two things. It says that the coaches believe in Finley, right? Because they brought in two guys to compete with him. They brought in Ashford from Oregon, and then, of course, Calzada from a and They brought in two guys to, you know, try to replace Finley after Nick's left. And then, so they believe in him, right? And then I think it's, it's the... It's the overall development that Finley has probably shown the coaching staff. At least that's kind of what I would take from it, that Finley has shown the coaching staff that he's been able to develop and take the next role. And when you read Harson's comments, I have one right here from August 13th. This is what he said about TJ Finley, which is which is what gives me the um, the mindset that Finley's developed and Finley has a good role and grasp on the offense. Harson goes, he's very much like a coach on the field. He conceptually picks things up very quickly, listens to the details and the little nuances of the place. If there's a coaching point made, not just for him, but for everybody, he'll remember that coaching point and be able to echo it whenever it comes up. So I think that's a good takeaway if you're an Auburn fan that, hey, Finley's developed. And, and, and like last year, I know he, he lost the three starts that he had, but he was the quarterback when they almost beat Alabama, right? And so there's something to be said there. Um, and now we're looking at some of the old clips of him at LSU just for the simple fact that I don't have – all the clips from his his uh, his season last year. He was at Auburn, uh, but we all know that Finley brings a big, strong arm. He's a pocket passer, can move a little bit when he needs to. But I do think he fits Harson's system, and this is his second year under Harson. I know it's a different OC, uh, but Harson probably has some type of, of role within the offense, and so I don't think it's going to be too too different uh, for Finley to pick up. Uh, this year compared to what it was last year. So I think experience was a big thing for Finley, and I think this is overall development. And the fact that he held off, you know, a few guys coming to compete to take his job, like the reasons these quarterbacks left their respective respective schools uh, was because they really thought they could come in and take T.J. Finley's job. And so I think that it's a lot of credit to go to T.J. Finley for being able to compete and hold on to this job. So, <clears throat> excuse me, another way to look at it is, oh, man, all these guys came in, they didn't play very well, and then we have to give the job, job to TJ Finley. Right? That's another way to look at it. That's not the way I'm going to spin it or I'm going to look at it. I'm sure other people will, but I like to look at the positive side of things. And I'm going to say that, hey, Finley held off these two guys. There's potential there. He's coachable. He's able to learn, and he's able to grow. So, again, we saw his stats kind of pop up on the screen. Uh, we, we, we know what his stats are. He did a good job taking care of the ball last year despite not being super accurate. So if he can kind of improve that completion percentage – this upcoming year and continue with what he did last year as far as taking care of the ball, then the Auburn offense could be better than what most people think. But again, those are just my few takeaways from uh, Finley being named the starting quarterback. Again, week one, I think it's, is it Mercer? I had it somewhere. Uh, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I don't think it's a very big game. So hopefully it shouldn't be much of a challenge there. And then as the season goes on, you know, we should really see, um, see kind of the development the steps that Finley has taken but again I think it's I think it is uh it's encouraging if you're an Auburn fan to know that Finley is still the starting guy they brought in two guys and he was able to hold off those two guys uh and then take or keep the starting job if you will uh and progress forward so again his experience under Harson, right uh, and then his what we think is his his overall development and being able to develop and just get 
get better as a quarterback. So that's something that that a lot of fans and media people don't uh, give quarterbacks enough time. That's just to develop and get better, right? This is only his third year in college. Uh, so again, those are our takes. Those are kind of what we think about TJ Finley uh, getting the starting job at Auburn. Again, we could be completely wrong. Who knows what's going to happen as far as uh, as far as down the road if he's going to retain the job if if Calzada or Ashford's going to take it. We don't know, but for right now, we're going to have a positive spin on it, and we think this is good for Auburn moving forward. But we want to hear from you. What do you think about this news? What do you think about Finley being named the starting quarterback? Uh, Auburn fans, let us know in the comments below. Just SEC fans, just college football fans in general, let us know in the comments below. And we'll see you next time on the next quarterback-related video.